Hi y'all, it's Sandy McTeer. Welcome to my studio. I want to share with you today how to create a really cool background using matte medium and a stencil, um, a little bit of paint. And I turned this one into a little inspiration block, use some stencils to do some of the words. Um, it would be pretty sitting on a desk. You can do this design on wood, canvas, paper mache. Um, it's just such a really cool technique, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is take some uh, deco art media, matte medium, and a clean. These makeup sponges, little wedges, are perfect. Um, dip that into the medium. Tap it somewhere on your palette so that you can work that into the sponge. And then we're just going to tap that right over the stencil. Try and keep it down. You can put some. Uh, spray on the back so that it doesn't move if you'd like to, but I tend just to hold it down with my fingers best I can. I also like to flip my stencils, so I like to use both sides, so that's why I usually don't spray the back. But we're just going to do all sides with the matte medium, and then we're going to let that completely dry. You want to make sure that you tap your sponge off on your palette so you don't get a whole bunch of excess. And I'm just going to move this stencil. This is an M square stencil. It's okay, so a nice coat, not too much on the sponge. We don't want it to seep underneath the stencil here. So after you've done all the sides on the square, see how you can see the, the stencil markings from the matte medium? Um, and this is completely dried, so just kind of set it to the side, or you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer to speed up the process. You can paint it to color of your choice. I'm going to use um, DecoArt Media Cobalt Teal Hue. Okay, and this is just a um, number 20 black gold by Dynasty. Three quarter brush is about the size it is. Get that wet, tap it off. I'm going to pick up some paint so I have water in my brush and paint and then I'm going to brush this right over the surface and look how awesome that is. You have the pattern because the uh, matte medium is a resist with that wood and the paint so that pattern starts to show up which is super duper cool. do a couple sides and then we're going to take um, a paper towel or even a baby wipe and get some of that paint off. But what happens is that paint will stain the wood. You can do the same technique on canvas and where you have the matte medium you have a resist. Okay so we're going to do that for all sides. Then you can turn your little block into um, a little inspiration block with some words. So I just have a variety of stencils. These are deco art stencils. And um, just pick some words that have some meaning. You can use rubber stamps. You can paint a design. Um, again, a wedge. And this is just, um, I think this is Thalo Turquoise. I'll just stamp that right on. Okay, so there you have your inspiration block. Fabulous, fun technique that you can use in the background. I hope you'll give that a try. Um, add some words to your block. Paint a little design on it. Give it a get as a gift or just set it on your desk. Here's another one that I did for my friend Tracy. I hope you enjoy this technique and I hope you'll give it a try.